Vote 2020 and one of the most important races in Miami-Dade on the primary ballot, the race for state attorney. Whoever holds that job is essentially the top law enforcement officer in the county, the person who charges and tries accused criminals. Our senior political reporter Michael Putney is in the newsroom with more on this critical race. Michael. Uh, uh, Jenny's two candidates are vying for the job of Miami-Dade state attorney, the longtime incumbent, Catherine Fernandez Rundle, and a challenger, Melba Pearson, who worked for her for 15 years. I am running for state attorney because for far too long, there has not been equal justice in Miami. Melba Pearson is a fiery lawyer who says it's time for new blood at the state attorney's office. Absolutely, 27 years is too long. When you think about the fact that she was appointed when Janet Reno became the attorney general for President Bill Clinton, that tells you that we, we're in a, in a completely different uh, world at this point. Catherine Fernandez Rundle is in her 27th year as Miami-Dade state attorney, a permanent fixture, it seems, in Miami-Dade politics and criminal justice. The police did a good job, but we can't do it alone. Our office can't prosecute cases and get people off the street unless we have information and evidence. Fernandez Rundle often shows up at high profile crime scenes, showing compassion for victims and determination to catch the bad guys. We're learning to build our cases, our criminal cases against these bad guys um, without the victim. Fernandez Rundle is 70, the state attorney since 1993, and before that, chief assistant to the legendary Janet Reno. Justice has to be real and equitable for everyone. Pearson is 46, an assistant state attorney for 15 years. She resigned to become deputy director of the ACLU. <laughs> Fernandez Rundle has brought charges against hundreds of police officers over the years, but she has never charged an on-duty cop with murder. No one was ever charged in the death of inmate Darren Rainey. It is clear that charges could have been filed in this case to hold the officers accountable for boiling a man to death. Fernandez Rundle said the evidence simply wasn't there to charge the corrections officers in Darren Rainey's death, but it took her five years to reach that decision.